So, it has come down to this, huh? Me filming in my room. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. Donnie here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, because I am, even though I'm stuck in the house. It's a little different. I'm so used to being out there and, you know, fishing, doing videos for you guys. Anyway, today we're gonna be talking Shimano Sustain. This has got to be one of my favorite reels out there. This here is the Shimano Sustain 5000. I also have the 3000 as well. This right here is a workhorse for me, man. I bought it back in 2017 when it first came out and I've never had any issues with it. I've never serviced it. I actually dunked it one time fighting a snook. Check out this clip. Get him out of the water. Look at him. Uh oh, he's going right, he's going right. He don't want to go right. God, that's a beast. It's a beast. No! No! <laughs> What'd you guys think? Isn't it crazy? Fully submerged. I didn't service it or anything. I didn't do anything to it, didn't clean it or anything. And it's still as smooth as day one. Super smooth. Let's get, let's get into the specs of this reel. This reel here is made out of metal body. It also has magnum light rotor. It's, it's plastic, but man, it's super smooth and lightweight. It's rigid, it's, it's solid, man. It feels solid in your hands when you're fighting fish. It's got 24 pounds of drag, carbon drag washer. The drag is pretty good, man. It, I've hooked onto a tarpon and I got him close to the seawall. It was a, probably a 70 pounder. He was pretty big, got him on a little uh, Z-Man swim bait. I've hooked onto some big snook with this thing. This reel right here is primarily for bridge snook fishing, like light tackle snook fishing along bridges for me. And the 3000 that I have, you guys probably seen it in my other videos. That's the reel I use 90% of the time, man. That's my favorite inshore reel ever, hands down. So if you guys are in the market for it, I'd highly recommend it. Check it out, try it out. It's a little bit pricey, but you get what you pay for. This thing is not cheap. It's a little over $300. I typically don't even wash this thing, man, after fishing trips. Every now and then I'll rinse it off. I'll just wipe it down with wet paper towel and that's about it. I don't, I don't do a maintenance on it, none of that. And it's still fine to this day. I mean, I, I, do, I do take care of my stuff. I don't just throw it around like some people do, you know. I have this reel paired up with the Chris Green's custom rod. It's a 10 to 20 pound class. This right here has 15 pound braid. I think 15 pound braid is all you really need for inshore, man. I've, I've landed some big snook with 15 pound braid and I'll show you some pictures right here. So that was on 15 pound braid, 30 pound leader and it was getting the job done, man. All right guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit that bell notification Smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.